Ladies and gentlemen, I will try to make as, as fast as possible. We are a little bit late. So, <clears throat> um, clearance obstacle enhancement performance renew uh, procedure for CATE 1, uh, uh, CATE and PC1 operations. Uh, CATE operations uh, allows, uh, uh, covers and gives you safety uh, completion of a takeoff and landing procedure against the possible uh, single engine failures. But this comes with penalties, and uh, these penalties are mostly uh, due to uh, you cannot always allow uh, to operate the maximum weight you know, in the entire flight envelope. And, uh, and also, <coughs> it takes a, a quite good uh, big penalties for obstacle clearance, especially if you operate in very confined areas. So, uh, as a principle, uh, CATEO uh, take-up procedure is prescribed by 2951. Uh, is a regulation for uh, uh, certified category A uh, procedures, and required to reach uh, 1,000 feet above uh, takeoff land and uh, landing surface. It, it, it's it's uh, based mainly on uh, two segments. The first segment is uh, the reaching of the um, 200 feet and at least 100 feet per minute rate of climb. And then uh, a, second, uh, a second segment that you have to uh, complete the takeoff profile uh, going from 200 feet up to 1,000 feet, that is the end of the takeoff uh, procedure. And uh, with the speed uh, selected by the applicant. Uh, VTOS is the takeoff safety speed that uh, is required to reach uh, at the completion of the takeoff uh, distance, and you have to reach also 200 feet with the takeoff uh, safety speed. Uh, after the uh, 200 feet, uh, you actually have to uh, select uh, a, a climb speed that are usually is a wheel wide. During the, the second climb segment, at least 150 feet per minute is required uh, to, to have available at uh, uh, maximum continuous power single engine operations. Um, but when uh, the power has the weight, uh, that's our point of view from Leonardo, that we have introduced the new alternative procedure in all uh, in uh, three of our products. It, it would be a shame not to complete uh, the, the, the full takeoff profile using the two and a half minutes power. The two and a half minutes power uh, gives you uh, a much better performance in climb rates. And also, uh, you can select uh, an intermediate speed uh, between VTOS and VY that has to be achieved uh, uh, once you reach the, uh, the 1,000 feet. Uh, that will give you a very comfortable speed and a rate on climb and a very good obstacle clearance. Uh, Leonardo Helicopters introduced this new procedure uh, and uh, associated with uh, performance charts. Uh, since uh, since a while, and uh, is already available in our three or the three products. This convention, this uh, attorney procedure uh, against the, the convention of one reduces considerably the pilot workload, makes things much faster and much easier. Basically, the requirement that we said just before uh, um, required by the regulations. We have already established what are the requirements and what, what the, the situation. If you operate uh, all engine operations, you have uh, the best uh, rate of climb, the best uh, obstacle clearance, and uh, basically this is also the, uh, the operation you have uh, to do when you are PC2 instead of PC1. This is the best performance you could achieve because it doesn't take into account any possible single engine failures. But the reality is that if you want to operate CATE procedures, you have to take into account the, uh, the single engine uh, performance of the aircraft that, uh, that has to be taken into account when the, the, the failure can occur at any point in the takeoff uh, sequence. So that means that once you have to take into account the single engine performance of the aircraft, you actually have to, 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 to think and, and to schedule a profile that is like what is required, the minimum requirement from the regulations, that you have to achieve the VTOS at 200 feet, then level accelerations to VY, 
and then you have to schedule the, at least the minimum performance required of Vy using the maximum continuous power. What does it mean? It means that the, the obstacle clearance you can afford is based on this kind of performance. So if you have such a kind of obstacles at a such a distance, it, that's no issue. Yeah, you can do it. But the reality is then when you operate from very confined areas, most of the times the obstacles are much higher than what you can afford in uh, scheduling the, uh, the performance with single engine conditions. So you don't have any possibility to clear uh, the obstacles, even if you lower the, the, the weight. Even lowering the weight is not enough in most of the times to, to have a sufficient clearance from uh, the confined area obstacles. So what we, we consider, uh, AC2967 allows you to uh, select uh, a single speed for takeoff instead of uh, actually using uh, the VTOS and, uh, and then the subsequent acceleration to VY. Uh, assuming you have enough power to do that and uh, in order to make it uh, work in the proper way, we introduce uh, uh, a second speed that is uh, an intermediate speed between VTOS and VY. Uh, also, because uh, we have uh, one, we have our product can easily reach the, the this intermediate speed without any uh, extra pilot workload, and and this is also the the most efficient speed for uh, taking off uh, uh, in terms of uh, climb gradients and and uh, and speed and allows us to use uh, the entire two and a half minutes rating to reach the, 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 the end of the takeoff profile. And uh, also having, still having uh, time and uh, available to accelerate the aircraft to VY. So at the end, the new procedure we have introduced and certified in our products gives us a considerable much better, much, much better obstacle clearance with the respect of the traditional way uh, Category A are certified. Because the Category A certification uh, comes from the fixed wind uh, uh, world where don't have uh, such a kind of uh, obstacle uh, surrounding helipads. So uh, I think it's better, it's time also to consider uh, performance for the helicopter world that are more suited for, uh, uh, for helicopters than, rather than fixed wing. So our procedure uh, allows us, uh, as you see from this, uh, this chart, to have a much steeper uh, climb, climb profile up to 1,000 feet. Easy, much easy. You don't, you don't have to change continuously um, flight conditions. Uh, and then uh, you, once you reach the 1,000 feet, uh, you, you still have uh, power and time available to <coughs> reach the VY that is, uh, uh, by regulations, the end of uh, the takeoff. And if you consider the distances implied uh, uh, with the two procedures, the traditional procedures and, and the new alternative procedure we have certified, there is a considerable difference especially if you have, uh, uh, you, take, uh, you just consider the, the end of path one to the end of path two when you reach 1,000 feet. This is a, a comparison we made with the same aircraft in the same conditions, flight conditions, and same weight. And the distance between uh, the, two, uh, the two procedures that we have uh, selected is, is very, very big. So the distance from uh, path two is at three, more than 3.6 kilometers plus 7 to 20 before accelerations with the respect to the, with the new procedure is only just above uh, 1.5 kilometers. So, but the, we haven't completed actually, uh, we didn't just stop to these new procedures. Um, we know that uh, the, the uh, obstacle clearance uh, must be guaranteed also beyond 1,000 feet after uh, above takeoff profile. And that's what we actually take into account in our procedure is also to provide information 
to the pilot in order to actually make sure that he is available. He has available all the performance charts that allow him uh, to provide obstacles well beyond a thousand feet uh, above the takeoff uh, surface. And uh, we actually produce a, a very, very useful app that uh, allows uh, to better consider uh, a, a scheduled uh, performance in, uh, in very close environments like uh, confined area to helipads surrounded by hills. <laughs> and what we have provided is an app that allows uh, the pilot to actually uh, schedule the, the TDP in terms of weight and height uh, with respect to the, uh, the helipad and also the, take into account the, all the possible obstacles that are uh, both within the 1,000 feet uh, required uh, regulations, much, but also well beyond the 1,000 feet. It can actually provide uh, information as far as the performance uh, in order to climb at uh, the desired altitude, take into account any obstacle that is uh, well beyond the 1,000 feet height required by the regulation. So conclusions. The introduction of the VCOS is in line uh, for sure with the regulation, suggesting means of compliance, uh, the AC29. And uh, it can, uh, has been certified because uh, has been recognized uh, as a, a, a safe alternative to the what is uh, actually uh, the traditional way of certifying category A profile. Basically, what we achieved is uh, a PC2 uh, performance uh, that doesn't, have, doesn't need to take into account any single engine failure, but with the category A safety uh, uh, tools, features. So uh, we have uh, the best performance. We can achieve uh, uh, all engine operating also uh, with the category A safety features. For sure, uh, this is not available in the full entire envelope of the aircraft, uh, of course, uh, but uh, with a good uh, uh, and power installation so in the aircraft is, uh, is for sure available in, uh, in, uh, in the most usable uh, environments that uh, standard helicopters operate. So we, the procedure, uh, the, after reaching the traditional VTOS, the helicopter uh, is, a, it, it is actually isolated by itself, so the pilot ha doesn't have to do much work in order to, uh, to reach the, 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 the speed that, that is required, that is, uh, the cost is uh, continued uh, safety speed. And using two and a half minutes rating up to the completion of the takeoff profile. We keep guaranteeing the maximum, uh, the um, 150 feet uh, rate of climb uh, capability using the single engine MCP power at VY as uh, required by the regulations. And also we provide the much, um, more information, pro, uh, much more performance inf information um, beyond the, the, the target 1,000 feet in order to make sure that the, the cup profile can, can take into account the obstacle clearance uh, in the whole uh, climb profile to the desired cruise altitude. So I did uh, as far as, <laughs> as fast as I could in order to recover some time. So that's it, thank you. Thank you for your attention.